And fighter planes have conducted their first airstrikes in Syria today, targeting ISIS military equipment, communication centers, vehicles, and ammunition. Defeating ISIS has been a focus of today's meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Let's get more details now from RT's Yegor Piskanov. Hey there. Uh, so give us an update of what's going on up there right now. Well, it's, uh, it has been quite a busy day here at the United Nations, so Lindsay, and well, in Syria now as well, since uh, Russia has apparently joined the uh, combat operations, I wouldn't say an alliance or that military uh, operation led by the United States, it's just joined the effort to fight Islamic State. But there are certain uh, details here that everybody is now talking about, uh, and well, the fight against Islamic State was pretty much the main topic discussed at the uh, UN Security Council. And we have, have heard both from uh, uh, Russia's Foreign Minister Lavrov, from U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. And what we're getting so far is that Russia and the United States are on the same page when it comes to understanding that uh, the fight against Islamic State has to take place, but how it should be done that is still the biggest stumbling block, the biggest difference in their approaches. You see, since Islamic State, the terror organization, uh, basically occupies territories of sovereign states, Iraq and uh, Syria, any military operations by a third party or from outside a sovereign state uh, is, a, is quite a tricky enterprise. And in this case, Syria is clearly in, in no, of no exception in terms of how legal these things are and how effective. And judging by what we've heard from both uh, Mr. Kerry and Mr. Lavrov, here uh, Moscow and Washington are also on uh, different pages, let's call it that, because according to uh, Mr. Kerry, uh, the ongoing uh, U.S.-led campaign against Islamic State, which has been going on for about a year now, is effective and legal, he says, even though it wasn't called for by the Syrian government uh, and it doesn't include Syrian authorities. He says that it will continue nonetheless. But what we've heard from Mr. Lavrov is totally the opposite. He's saying that uh, Russia got into this whole uh, anti-Islamic state business, this operation, after the, uh, getting the request from the Syrian authorities. And Lavrov said, actually, without getting them involved, that the whole operation would be illegal and ineffective. Let's listen to what Russia's chief diplomat had to say. You cannot promote the slogan of combating extremism in specific countries whilst bypassing their respective governments. As you all know, such attempts were already made and they led to no positive results. So this is the biggest uh, question right now. How are they going to coordinate these separate individual military efforts uh, against Islamic State on the territory of Syria? Because right now we have the U.S.-led operation there. The France is bombing ISIL positions uh, also in Syria in its own separate way. In fact, we have heard today speculation that Paris may actually join Russia in its uh, latest effort. And we've got Russian military uh, or the Russian Air Force now bombing uh, certain areas of Syria as well. So how are they going to coordinate this whole operation? And well, Moscow, as we've heard from President Putin, who was just here at the General Assembly, its main proposal is to uh, put together a joint uh, joint force against Islamic State, which should include the government, and again, that has been uh, denied by Washington. So we just have to see how the situation is going to develop now from here, but it's definitely not an easy one. Uh, yeah, Yegor, I can safely say that uh, you and I woke up asking ourselves the same question. How are they going to coordinate this effort? It's not, uh, it's going to be a very colorful week indeed watching this unfold. That was RT's correspondent, Yegor Piskanov from New York.